Welcome to Thought Cops, the only podcast where every week we police the mean streets of the internet because, hey, somebody's got to do it. And then we let you be the judge, the jury, and the executioner in the court of public opinion. Coming to you live from Neo Chicago, I'm Officer Kevin. I'm Officer Grant. What's up? Let's get to the guests. Let's, hey, let's thank our guest from last week, Sarah Black. Thank you. And we got a returning champion to the show yet again. Uh, we have the one, the only, Dave Pretendo. How the hell are you, Dave? I'm doing good. <laughs> Thanks for having me again. Absolutely. Uh, Dave, we were talking off mic. Um, you were telling me that I got you hooked on the uh, the Monster Energy Boomer flavored drink. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, it's great. It sounds like you're sipping on some, or you were sipping on some there just now. Yeah, yeah. I got the monster burps I know all too well. Yeah. So Dave, you've been uh you've been streaming on Twitch a lot and you've got your own YouTube channel, all that good stuff. Yeah. Doing my my I'm I'm not really a streamer, but mm-hmm. I do enjoy streaming. Like it's it's more like a relaxing thing for me. For sure. Really. Uh and I want to focus on I focus on making videos. My YouTube channel is like the my main focus. It's just that I like I like streaming once in a while. Sometimes I get really like tired of it and I'm just like I'll oh, fuck streaming. I'm just gonna mm-hmm. do YouTube for a while. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Streaming is a nice kind of passive hobby. Um but I also wanted to uh talk a little bit about your brother, uh Sephiroth Sword fifty seven. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I know there's there's been some trouble recently. I understand <laughs> there was a there was a Kickstarter that didn't meet its goal. Um, yeah. Last Dream Central Seven Cloud of Emergency. Yeah. What do you guys think of the name? Uh, I think it sounds epic. First of all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It I, sounds. Uh, it sounds amazing. It it gives me a feeling of warmth and. Uh, Sort of nostalgia in a sort of way, in a in a way that I can't exactly put my finger on. Yeah, and I feel you know while I um <laughs> I didn't get a chance to donate to the uh, project myself, I I did support it mentally, and I want I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to see counts, it. I guess. Yeah, I wanted to see it come to fruition, and I was I was following all of uh, Seth's updates on YouTube, which. Uh, can find that channel. I sorry, I don't. I only need to promote your brother's channel the whole time. But his oh, channel, it's okay. yeah, it's a uh, Sephiroth Sword fifty seven. I think it's just Seph now with a period. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So is he kind of going through like a rebranding right now because of um kind of what's yeah. going on? Uh, so he's in a he's in a li- he's in a little bit of a dark place. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, it, it's getting better. He's he's working on on stuff right now. But yeah, it, it it's um. Seth's right now it got like it's a bit upset about the Kickstarter, of course. Sure. Uh, not getting its like goal of five hundred five hundred thousand uh, dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was kind of reasonable. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I feel like Yeah. I mean you gotta support your brother. Yeah. yeah. That's how much it costs to make that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean roughly. A lot of a lot of games on Kickstarter tend to have uh goals like five hundred thousand dollars. I mean typically uh, those are directors who have been working in the industry for a handful of decades. But you I say I think, potato, I say potato. Exactly. I I think. Mm, yeah. I mean, look right. at the uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. That, that their goal was five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, and they met that what a, like pretty damn quick. Yeah, yeah. Not completely unreasonable. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's kind of weird. And I know. Yeah. yeah. So uh, right now. 
basically Seth has been canceled. He he got a uh, cease and desist letter. He pretty much just completely ignored it. Went ahead with the Kickstarter, did not make the money he needed. And now he he he's got all this like he's in debt. He's got to pay his staff who worked on the game. Yeah. It's it's a nightmare. I mean, you know, we talk a lot on the show about people being canceled and I uh, you know, I've been following Seth for quite some time, so I got to say I was a little shocked. Yeah, it's a uh, especially having that like it, it's kind of hard uh, to see him like see how upset he was too. Like yeah. it's not very very like Seth is very like positive and like uh, it's very optimistic usually about yeah. stuff. Yeah. And that's that's why I like him. I know he can be a little negative sometimes. Um, I was watching his review of Doom, the original Doom from 1993. Yeah. And I mean, he had some good criticisms, but I feel like he does kind of tend to focus exclusively on Japanese developed games. Yes. Yeah. And of course, that does not include Nintendo. Yeah, it doesn't. Absolutely. Yeah. He does not like Nintendo. I like Nintendo. We, We have like a... I think I've talked about. I might have mentioned that we have like a. That's like a thing we we decided not to. That, that's a topic we don't like talk about at For all. For sure, I, Cause, I, cause I, we, I get he, that. Yeah, because we never agree on. The, <laughs> we will never agree agree on that topic. I think that's one of my favorite parts of uh, Seth's videos is when he says, "I hate this game," and then he pulls out the exact game, and it's like, "Well, why do you have it if you hate Nintendo so much?" <laughs> 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 yeah, because he yeah he borrows my games, so that's yeah uh, okay, uh, yeah right yeah that's why. And I think I think Seth has done a lot of good on YouTube. He had a great call out video of Logan Paul. Uh, if Classic. you guys recall back um, a couple of years ago, when Logan Paul uh, did sort of a tone deaf video where he went to Japan and sort of uh, goofed on the whole culture at large, and then went to his suicide force and filmed a hanging body. Mm, yeah. And I mean, I think it was really important how Seth kind of contextualized that for us. He he showed us that Logan Paul was acting like a complete baka, and we yes. I can I think we can all agree on that. I bl- yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, it, I, I I yeah, that was a good video. Yeah, it brought up a lot, uh, bring up a lot of point, good points. Um, especially how he acted, like how he dressed and stuff, and acted loud. It was a loud annoying westerner mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. we're out there yeah and i mean i i one thing though is i i don't exactly like how he treats his friend joachim oh yeah jo- yeah joachim um yeah they've known each other for a long time but so I, I think he's just used to it at this point yeah i i could tell but you know i feel like he he you know he just doesn't really listen you know it's all about him it's all about what he wants and i think he's got i hope that uh his break from youtube he'll kind of get some growth some yeah. self-reflection yeah maybe uh, i haven't talked to him too much he says mm-hmm. he's busy so yeah and like, I, I don't mean to only talk about your brother this whole time i've I, i've just been following the drama yeah so i um i, I think if everybody else wants to go check it out it's uh sephiroth sword 57 on YouTube, but does that still? If you still search that, does it still pull up his channel, even though his display name has changed? Yes, uh, mo- okay. most videos are still called Sephiroth Sword Fifty Seven, so the, yeah. the channel shows up as well. And, I mean, you you might find um, you don't be confused. You might find some cringe compilations. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> Seth doesn't. I mean, obviously, the way he dresses is very eccentric. Uh, he's got the fedora. Mm. And I think that maybe he he tends to be a magnet for bullying online. Yeah, which is something I'm actually pretty uh, proud of him for because he doesn't <laughs> care. He doesn't care about what people think of him. He just yeah. brushes his off, it, off, it off. He knows it's the internet. He he mm-hmm. can handle a bit. He, he he can handle a bit of it you now. Yeah, and I think that's again where that positivity shines. Mm, yeah. So, I uh, just you know if you could let him know from uh, us here at Thought Cops, we're we're wishing him the best. Yeah, and uh, we hope he pulls through this, but we know we know he will. Um, mm. Just you know, he needs whatever time he's got to take. We'll we'll be here waiting for him. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll, uh, th- there's a little bit of an update. Oh, uh, he he might he might the like you mentioned. There's a, there's some kind of rebranding going on, and uh, 
it's not a big one, but he he the um uh, I think I think I heard something like uh he 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 wants to um what's the word he used? Uh like he he wants to uh, be reborn. Oh, okay. So it's like uh it's like a new name, maybe not mm-hmm. not exactly not not a big one, not a big change from what it seems sure, like. Sure, sure. But, but it's uh, yeah, he's doing something. So probably in the, like coming like by next week. Oh wow, something. that's no. So by the time you yeah. listen to this episode, everybody go to YouTube and subscribe to Sephiroth Sword Fifty Seven. Be there to get the latest update. Uh, I'll be I'll be waiting at the edge of my seat the entire time. Well, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, he would appreciate that. Uh, moving on to a little bit of our own show news, Grant. Uh, we've also been streaming on Twitch. Have we? Been, you, yeah, yeah, you just did it last night. I, I heard you were uh, kind of playing Super Nintendo in the background with a lot of ranting. Yeah, people in the chat kept talking about politics, and I, you know, I sussed out the difference between, you know, uh, anarchism and anarcho capitalism and, uh, you know, the 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 nuances between whether or not anarchists want a government or whether or not they just are against the very concept of hierarchy and uh libertarianism and everyone's uh experiences with it and it it, it, it turned into like a destiny stream it was uh terrible it was the worst thing i've ever done yeah oh, just go sorry. everyone go ahead and subscribe to us over at twitch.tv slash thought cops for all yeah. kinds of fun content like that i've been playing through uh link's awakening which uh recent stream I spent 45 minutes trying to learn how to steal a shovel. That was fun. That was hilarious. You were bad at it. Yeah, and I was uh getting kind of upset. Yeah. And it was we've all, you know we we've been doing some tier ranking streams. We're ranking our favorite fruits, our uh favorite animal crossing characters, our favorite, favorite bottled water. Yeah, favorite brands of bottled water. It's a good time. So yeah, give us a follow over at twitch.tv slash thoughtcops. Uh, every Tuesday night and Sunday night from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. CST. We're going to have kind of guests on, do more tier rankings and whatever other kind of random crap we can think of. Whoa. Uh, speaking of uh, random crap, we have a new episode of our Patreon exclusive show, Fire Bros, where and I'm going to get this right this time, Grant. We reviewed Bone Tomahawk, Tim uh-huh. and Eric's billion dollar movie. Wow. Donnie Darko. Amazing. And Shin Godzilla. <laughs> Spectacular. So check it out. It's only two bucks a month on Patreon. Hey, you can just throw us two bucks and quit. Get the whole, get every single episode of Fire Bros downloaded and you'll have them. Yeah, Leave you us have that dust. option. But yeah, that doesn't you, support us very well. It makes us Yeah, I mean, sad. I, yeah, it would make me very sad. But again, it's, uh, it is an option. It's better than uh, not lifting a finger. Let's just say. It's true. But then you don't get the future ones until you pay again. So, you know. True, true. Think that is about a very that. good point. We've also got some new merchandise. You over don't in say. Our, over in our store. Teespring.com slash stores slash thought cops. I feel like we've been, we hadn't touched this for a while. And recently we've just been kind of coming up with a lot of, uh, a lot of silly stuff, let's just say. And we have a bunch of merchandise, uh, a bunch of clothing uh, tops, if you will, that say not a cop. Just like the hat. In fact, I believe I tried my best. I think that it's the same font as my hat that says not a cop. It's it's at least close enough to sure. be passable. Um, so, so if you want to look close enough like Grant, I would recommend uh, scooping up one of these shirts. Yeah, maybe we'll uh, maybe if I figure out how to design a hat on Teespring, we'll also start doing our own not a cop hats because the place where I got the not a cop hat from uh, the the website's just gone. So oh. I have the last one in existence. Sort of an important relic in a way. It is. I can never lose it. Uh, we have one more piece of information here. We got the theme song cover contest. Uh, nothing new this week, but we did get one last week. So I'm going to keep reminding you guys that we would like anyone who wants to cover the theme song of Thought Cops. If you got some talent, we'll take it. Uh, we'll play your song at the end of the episode. We'll throw you some credit. Give us uh, give you a big old shout out, a big old virtual kiss on the lips. And uh, everybody's going to love it. The one we got last week from CB was excellent yeah it was great very fucking good i was like ah, this would almost be uh this is almost better than the real thing shut up (laughs) you know what the the thing with that is i fucking 
the way that I recorded it wasn't great. You know, like yeah. I, I, I threw it together. I did my best with it. Usually I would write something like that on Logic or Ableton, and I have neither of them. So I recorded directly from my synthesizer piano into Reaper, and I sure. tried my best. And it's it, it's passable, but the quality's not great. I've wanted to redo it basically since I put it up. Nobody's so helped anyone, me with that. Well, hey, what better way to uh, get the word out there than do your own theme song cover? That's how simple it is. Uh, just do everything that Grant told you that he didn't do, and you look, yeah, you look pretty damn the, good. Do the opposite of it. It'll be better by default. So moving right along to a very famous, very favorite segment of the show, Two Minutes of Hate, where we like to blanket punish all those irritating, annoying, uh, freaking cringe-inducing things we see on the internet every single week, every single waking moment of our lives. I'll begin. My Two Minutes of Hate this week is this. What? Well, that wasn't on my 2020 bingo card. I haven't seen this. I'm not either. <laughs> okay, you guys gotta trust me. It, I swear to it's God, it's there. true. Let me just frantically Google it here. No, it's every time I've seen, I've seen people do this where they quote retweet a uh, a news article or some crazy personal development from somebody on YouTube having a mental breakdown or something like that. Right. And they go, well, that wasn't on my 2020 bingo card where obviously 2020 has been a bit of a uh, crazy year. So people have this little joke like they everybody filled out this imaginary bingo card. And when something unexpected happens, they make the same joke over and over. It's hilarious. Well, that's always funny. Yeah. yeah. I, th- there's nothing Good. better than repetition, especially mm-hmm. on Twitter. So I'm assuming there is, um, of course, a free space in the middle. And I don't know. I mean, 2020 is pretty unpredictable so far. So I would have to imagine that people are often not crossing off many things on their bingo card. How many people are playing bingo in the year 2020 is what I want to know. And we got a lot of old folks, you know, that (laughs) we got a lot of old folks that are uh, not allowed to go outside. So they're staying busy, probably with bingo. Um, Of course, they are. I don't think they're playing the same kind of bingo, of course. But uh, some people, you know, are playing pretend bingo. So my punishment for them is how about uh, how about a real adults game? How about you learn um, checkers or uh, yes, checkers, the 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 adult game for real adults. Yeah. Connect Four. very good. Not the Uh, one that old people all play, but checkers. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking like uh, something like uh, go or Oh, uh, right, on the right. cards that that's now that's yeah. uh, those that's are good real shit. adult games yeah yeah the shogi i'm not i'm not played any of those by the way i don't know how to, <laughs> yeah <laughs> i I, I, I tried to learn when i was playing yakuza and i'm like this is uh pretty complicated <laughs> yeah it is absolutely uh so dave did you have anything you want to get off your chest for us this week anything you see on the internet that you're like yo fuck that uh yeah it is uh it might have been something that you've uh, talked about before. Yeah, and oh, okay. it's all good, yeah. Uh, but um, <laughs> I was thinking about it when you when you asked, like, if you have anything. And mm. there's one thing that just actually pisses me off. And uh, I follow a lot of artists on Twitter uh, and stuff. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm like, uh, that's like the mo- like 50% of the people I follow are just artists. Yeah, same for me, I would say. Yeah, and... <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you, uh, I'm sure you've noticed that every time there's like a I wouldn't say every time, but sometimes there's a lot of Westerners. It's gonna sound like it. It's gonna sound like my <laughs> Seth rant right there. But uh-huh. there's all, there's know, all yeah. Westerners complaining about Japanese artists. Yeah, uh, <laughs> drawing something completely innocent and uh, like just inoffensive, and they still find shit to complain about. Of course. Yeah. And yeah, I, the worst thing about it is that when you complain to, they complain about like if either if it's like racist or uh, sexist or a- anything like that, and it's usually like not like I'm I'm trying to figure out like is this drawing how can this be offensive? And a, a lot of the times it's just like it's just really petty shit. Yeah. Um, and I, I got I got really <laughs> I, what what makes me mad is that a lot of those artists are just like really respectful like nice people so they're like okay okay i'll, I'll delete the tweet 
I delete the drawing. And, and that's what, that's when I get pissed off, and they 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 feel like they've accomplished something by oh, I got that person to take down this this thing I didn't like. <laughs> I yeah, I know it's um. I think what was it, Lilith Lovett described it as um internet puritans. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's these pol- the policing of a lot of this artwork. I, I actually saw today. Uh, there's like this. I hate that I've seen this so much on my timeline. But it's this uh, yeah. this anime character who is like short and has gray, shortish hair. Yeah, and yeah. she has like big boobs, and everybody's complaining, being like, "Oh, this is uh, this is wrong. This is not this is not even accurate." Dude. And they're they're redrawing the character to be like morbidly obese. Did we ever <laughs> yeah. on the show? Did we ever talk about? There's a subreddit called "Men Drawing Women" or something like that, and it's mm-hmm. all people posting images like that. Where it's just, uh, I think it's where "Where Are Her Organs" is from. Is yeah. like, oh, uh, oh th- this woman isn't drawn to actual uh, female proportion. How dare you? This is just sexist. Blah blah blah. But then. The funny thing that happened with that subreddit is they started posting pictures of actual women to the subreddit who had like those weird anime proportions of like overly large breasts with impossibly small waists and like giant asses. And it's just like now you just I know that you started this for some sort of like weird feministy sort of reason, but now you're just bullying women that look the way that they look and can do nothing about it. Oh, that's shitty. Yeah. Yeah, and I actually, I saw one today. It was a, a Japanese uh, Twitter user who, quote, replied to one of these redrawings of this character. And I I was, the text was all in Japanese, so I hit translate and it just said, Western Twitter ruins everything it touches. <laughs> I saw that one too. Yeah. <laughs> I saw- <laughs> <laughs> and I, I've Hell definitely yeah. seen a handful of, uh, you know, Japanese Twitter users complain about this yeah mm. dude we suck man yeah, <laughs> yeah suck. I, 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 it feels so weeby to say like <laughs> that like oh the, like the japanese are better on like social media and stuff but they fight they are yeah <laughs> i mean they're they're they've pretty much always been ahead of the game yeah god yeah fucking yeah western social media sucks it's so awful <laughs> Uh, real quick, actually, I want to addend, uh, put an addendum to my previous punishment. I, normally, I wouldn't do this, but I was, uh, uh, Nemo on the chat said they should play 4D chess instead of bingo. So that's mine. But, okay, um, much better. So wait, go ahead and uh, throw that to, uh, pretend don't, I said something smart earlier. Don't do that. <laughs> do the opposite uh, of that. Make him sound, stu- slow him down so it makes him sound stupider. Uh, Dave, did you have a punishment for these uh, these uh, people on Twitter? Punishment? Uh, oh, uh, you could if you don't have one. I actually have one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead. So, if you're familiar with inflation fetishism, oh god, <laughs> yeah, I say that uh, these people who complain about these uh, proportions and everything, I want to stink a big uh, balloon pump in their ass and mm-hmm. then just completely inflate them, and all these inflation fetishists on Twitter just start getting really horny about it. That's good, and that's the burden they have to live with. Just being a balloon, being a big, yes. sexy balloon. Sounds good. It sounds, sounds like a good punishment. I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. Want I wouldn't that either. either. That'd be terrible. Uh, Grant, what do you got? Yeah, I got something. You know, um, this is this is very uh, this is personal um, because you've all listened to this podcast. You know, if hey, you're listening now, you're you've listened to it. You know, you you know who we are as people. You know our our trials our tribulations you know what we've been through what we're going to be through you know our our generalized outlook and uh knowing knowing all that i get very personally offended when i'm i'll be scrolling through the timeline you know of any given app it doesn't matter facebook twitter instagram you name it and i'll i'll scroll past something that makes me so offended it's when i see someone that's happy on the internet you gotta be fucking kidding me. Where I, the fuck did you see that? I hate it. There's, there's, there be people out there that are just fucking happy with their lives. It makes me so sick. Ugh, happy in 2020? What the fuck? Seriously. What are they doing? Like, ha- people hanging out with their friends, having a barbecue, doing, doing little dances, enjoying life. 
It's disgusting. I hate it. That's, I mean, that's really fucking offensive, dude. I gotta be honest. I, I'm right there with you. You, you know, I, I don't care if that's the lifestyle that you personally want to lead. Just do it behind closed doors and stop shoving it down everyone's throats. It's disgusting. <laughs> Nobody wants to see it. Nobody wants to see you be happy. Do, do you think that you're better than me? The fact that you're happy with your life, the, the fact that you're content with your your job choice and the fact that you're getting married or something like that. It, you, you, do you think, think that you're better than me because of those things that you're smiling and taking pictures of yourself smiling as you're going about a pleasant life? Yeah, I would say I would go so far as to say that uh, is a personal attack on you. It is. It, it's very personally offensive to me. Yeah, I think that honestly, anyone who's posting like that is actually subtweeting you. And they they're like, oh, I hope he sees how happy I am. Dude, fuck them. I don't need to see that. It It's disrespectful. Yeah. Nima in the chat says it's disrespectful. And it is, you know, agree they, more. they didn't even consider my feelings on the matter that I, I would look at them being happy and I would just be so full of rage at the idea that they were smiling laughing <laughs> having good times with their friends i hate it mm-hmm oh uh, i kind of have to i i kind of have to admit something yeah uh, yesterday i i kind of i kind of had a good good day that's terrible kinda, i, 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 I kind of had a good time oh boy i can't believe you would say this to me on my on my day of two minutes of hate sorry this this is uh this is awkward this is weird it's kind of weird and awkward and weird uh <laughs> so that happened Oh boy, are you are you okay, Grant? I think I'll be fine because the thing is, I've I've completely accepted my own unhappiness, and it's made me, you know, I won't say happy. I won't say that I'm happy with my own unhappiness, but I'm contented with the state of being that is my own emotions. You know what okay. I mean? So I'm I'm fine with me, but it, it I'm only fine because I'm not fine. And these people uh. that are just fucking wandering around blatantly shoving their smiling fucking face all over the internet, they they need to be not fine in order to be fine. Okay? You can't you can't just be okay. You can't okay, just I be see, see. happy. You got you gotta have a little bit of something is wrong and you gotta be okay with that. You gotta you gotta be just like me is basically what I'm saying. <laughs> and if you want to be just like Grant, head on over to teespring.com slash store slash thought cops and get a not a cop shirt just like the hat that Grant wears. Exactly. It's a, it's a good good product placement, Kevin. Thank you for Thanks, that. Thanks, man. No problem. That's all I got. Um, that That's a punishment in and of itself is that, you know, you, you have to go on a quest. You You have to go on the hero's journey and go deep into the belly of the beast and come out the other side having learned something that you will project onto the rest of society is what you have to do. Um, you gotta, you gotta go through some trials and some tribulations of yourself. You can't just be happy out there. You got, you gotta, you gotta get into the fucking mud of it. You gotta, you got, you gotta be a little unhappy. That way you can be, you know, again, not happy, but content. I think everybody needs to be content because I know a lot of these happy people aren't, they're not happy. Yeah. They think that they are, but <laughs> Right, let's, Grant, let's I think I think that you're happy talking about making people unhappy. Yeah, it brings I me sen- a lot I of sense joy. Some, yeah, I sense a real sense of joy in you. Yeah, it's great. Anyway, uh, moving along here. If you haven't listened to Thought Cops before, every week we investigate the Internet's outrage-inducing news stories. And then we sentence each perpetrator to a cruel and often quite unusual punishment. So I actually I want to lead off here with a gamer's uh, piece of news. I'm ready. So, OK, video game bosses, they're big, they're scary, they're tough. You got to make sure you're leveled up to fight them. But if you ever have to face a giant spider in a video game, maybe you just think to yourself, I got to set the controller down. I got to leave my house and I got to set it on fire. So Vice put out this article this week that says spiders are a popular video game monster. They're also an accessibility problem. (laughs) So I guess there's this game coming out called Grounded, and there are big, scary spiders you have to fight in the game. 
And I guess they were doing some play tests of the game and some people were too scared of the spiders. So, you know, what they put out a quote, they said, uh, this game contains spiders that are often much larger than the player. If you're super not okay with that, you can enable arachnophobia safe mode in the accessibilities option. It's a visual only setting that does not apl- that does not affect gameplay or difficulty. Ooh. Yeah, they said uh, from there, it's super easy to jump in and move a slider that changes and deforms the look of the game spiders from something monstrous into blobs with two bulging eyes. A small but important touch. You don't even have to see the original design for the spider. The game forces the player to enable, quote, spider preview. You can adjust the slider without ever looking. So basically, it sounds like a brightness setting, but for spiders... I've got I've got a question to the developers though. Sure. Um because they're they think that they're all high and mighty up in their ivory tower taking into uh, account the accessibility of whether or not someone's arachnophobic. What if someone's afraid of giant blobs with two eyes? Mm. Yeah. What if that's Good my point. trigger point? I mean that's true like if you're playing Dragon Quest and you come across uh, a metal slime <laughs> Or a king slime, God help you. What if that's what I'm afraid of? Who's going to make the game for me? There should be an option in Dragon Quest where you can change the slimes into big spiders, just in case that's (laughs) bothering you. Uh, Dave, I know uh, you and your brother are big gamers, so uh, you must have fought a spider or two in your time. Yeah. Perhaps Uh, like Legend of Zelda or something. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of funny that... uh, be talking about this but i'm on here because i have extreme arachnophobia okay uh spiders in games have never scared me like ever huh. but it, it never even in like um movies and stuff ne- spiders never scared me and i will say i'll th- oh, go ahead go ahead sorry uh, th- I, I think it's and i think that's a common thing with people who are arachnophobic is that they don't like spiders near them mm-hmm it's not so much that you see the spider and you that's like i'm i'm sure there's people that are afraid of that too they they just can't handle to like look at a spider but most people i know are just like they the presence of a spider is what's awful so like seeing a spider on a screen wouldn't typically be an issue i know everybody's no. different but you know i i i kind of like i'm i'm gross grossed out but yeah. i i'm i don't i'm never like scared of it it never like scares me yeah, I um I did hear even some people when the new Animal Crossing game came out, they made the bugs and fish and everything look so realistic. Yeah. So when they when they uh were trying to catch a tarantula in the game, they were like, Oh fuck that. They just couldn't do it. <laughs> I mean I I think that's like the tarantulas in Animal Crossing would be it, it would be scary no matter what it is, because it moves fast towards True. you. Like y- your reaction would be, ah, <laughs> no matter it's what. Like the for the game that moves like very slowly and leisurely the whole time, it's like all of a sudden like a big spider like dashes at you. Yeah, it's gonna catch you off guard. Yeah. Um so I mean, yeah, this is uh it's interesting, you know, like I said, everybody's different. How big yeah. of a how big of a problem is this like debilitating arachnophobia? That they're even considering this to be an issue that needs to be resolved. Like, I understand to a certain point uh, trigger warnings for, uh, like, sexual violence or something like that. Because it's Mm -hmm. like, yeah, those things for some people who have lived through certain things are like, yeah, that's emotionally scarring. And you want to sort of know some of that stuff ahead of time. But, like, that's a reasonably understood premise, right? trigger warnings Mm. for people of that nature why who was sounding the alarm for big arachnophobia that that needed to be a thing that needed to be tackled maybe it was a fly (laughs) yeah what touche yeah maybe maybe one of the develop like on the development team so yeah yeah maybe someone's Uh, just a small house fly a, a house fly wearing a trench coat so that nobody notices that he's a fly. Yeah, it's like that guy from Ninja Turtles who mm. got turned into a fly. Or uh, oh, the Baxter? fly. Yeah. Daxter turned into a fly. Uh, the movie The Fly with Jeff Goldblum. I mean, you gotta, you gotta imagine these guys are not big fans of spiders. I guess so, yeah. Mm. You know, I, I, that brings me to the point where I can, I can think of a punishment for these people that yeah, go need these... Uh, that need these um, 
arachnophobia. What, what do you what do you, what, would, what do you call the device that turns the spiders not into spiders? I think they just called it a spider slider. Or a spider slider. No, it's a it's a <laughs> arachnophobia safe mode. Okay, so arachnophobia safe mode. If you're one of these people that needs this, one day you're you're having a normal day. You you do all the things that you do during the day. You go to work. You come home. You watch some TV. Maybe you make yourself a nice hot cup of tea to relax yourself before you go to sleep. You you read a book to sort of calm yourself down and sort of set your mind in the right place. And you fall you fall asleep and you wake up the very next day and you're a big bug. You're a giant mm. bug <laughs> and you have to live the rest <laughs> of your life as a giant bug. That's what you have to do if you need fucking arachnophobia safe mode. Yes. Uh, Grant, we were talking a little bit earlier this week about this next story. Uh, This also leads into our word of the week this week, which I will explain off the top here. Uh, WAP. It's W-A-P. It stands for wet ass pussy. Nice. So Ben Shapiro is watching the music video for this, and he did a he did a reading of it to prove a point. We have to play this on here. This is the this is one of the funniest things I've heard. I have not seen this. this oh is no worries. Fantastic. Yeah, we'll we'll watch it together here. Um, you know who Ben Shapiro is, right? Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I never know with some of our international callers who's heard of some of these people and shit. But this is yeah, this is must see. Here are some of the lyrics. You ready? I'm ready. Whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores <laughs> in this house. Hold up. I said certified freak seven days a week. Wet ass P word. Make that pull out game weak. <laughs> yeah, you effin' with some wet ass P word. P word is female genitalia. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass P word. <laughs> Give me everything you got for this wet ass P word. Beat it up N word. Catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Put this P word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Hop on top, I want to ride. I do a kegel while it's inside. Spit in my mouth, look in my eyes. This P word is wet. Come take a dive. It continues uh, along these lines. Uh, and it gets significantly, significantly more vulgar. Like, oh, a lot more vulgar. Keep Talk going. Ass word, bite your going. lip. Ask for a call while you ride that D word. You really ain't <laughs> never going to F him for a thing. He already made his mind up before he came. Now get your boots and your coat for this wet ass P word. Pay my tuition just to kiss me on this wet ass P. Right. So this is D guys. <laughs> This, this is what feminists fought for. This is what the feminist <laughs> movement was all about. It's not uh, it, It's not really about, you know, women being treated as independent, full, rounded human beings. It's about wet ass P word. And if you <laughs> say anything differently, it's because you're a misogynist, you see. Uh, it gets really, uh, really, 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 really vulgar. Okay, so I want to say I actually prefer this version of the song. Oh, it's so uh, much better. I like I, I like when the Alvin and the Chipmunks cover a song. You know, it's all like high and squeaky. <laughs> okay, so let's say, for instance, hypothetically, I were to take my P word and put it inside of your V word, or <laughs> inside of your P word. Also, I guess both of them. But let's say, hypothetically, if my F word were to go to your B word, and we were to P word the C word into your L word, it's just like, dude, what the fuck? Somebody uh, somebody had a real good tweet about like the fact that uh conservatives really want to say the N word real bad. That's like their their fucking um their what what's that uh American where the the photo of the Americans trying to push the flag up? What what the fuck battle is uh, that? Uh that that famous uh Yeah, I can't think of the name of it. <laughs> yeah. That that's that's their own like version of we really all want to say the n-word please let us say the n-word but he won't say the word pussy or ass oh that's what he meant or, or no but that that's a, a tweet that i saw was that like some of these people really want to be able to say anything that they want to say with no repercussions but they won't say the word pussy it's off limits hmm well yeah, yeah i know he was uh he was kind of he did elaborate, though. He said it was female genitalia. So it's it's up to the listeners to kind of use their imagination as to what that word may or may not have been. So, yeah, this is I, I think that this did nothing else but promote the song. <laughs> you know, I, I, I this is how I became aware of it. Yeah, 
if if it wasn't for this, I would have no idea what the fuck this is. Yeah. So yeah, I, uh, like I said, I what a what a great cover. It's it's brilliant, and so you know when people make fun of you, you know, hey, Kevin, have you ever had someone make fun of you before? Yeah, it happens on the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know the the number one thing you don't do, and we talked about this with the William Shatner letter, is you don't make a full medium article saying I'm not mad, or you don't backlash. You just go, ha ha, yeah, that was pretty f- silly, right? Ha ha, sure, I'm pretty dumb. You you do something like that because as soon as you go, actually, I'm right. So he responded to the criticism, and I'm gonna drop this link in the chat. He responded to the criticism because, of course, he did, because he can't accept the fact that everyone's just laughing at him because it was a stupid thing that he did. So he tweets, listen, guys, I fully he's going to break it down for everybody. Listen, guys, I fully explained on the show that it's misogynistic to question whether graphic descriptions of wet ass P and then star, 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 star is empowering for women. W.A.P. is... uh, WAP is obviously an incredibly profound statement of women's empowerment, a la Susan B. Anthony. And he continues, I've also discussed on the show, my only real concern is... I'll, I'll stop doing the voice. I also discussed on the show, my only real concern is the women involved who apparently require a, quote, bucket and a mop, get the medical care they require, my doctor wife's differential diagnosis, bacterial <laughs> vaginosis. So it's, a co- it's okay to say vaginosis, but it's not okay to say vagina. Yeast infection or trig... I can't say that word. So he had to bring up his doctor wife and he had to double down, which is the thing you never do when people are make fun of, making fun of you, is you never fucking double down because you look like a jackass. Right. And uh, yeah. Dave, that's kind of something I was hoping to mention to your brother as well. Um, I know. <laughs> I, I think that I think that when you put out that video, it might invite more bullying. Yeah, yeah you might be right about that. It probably. I mean, it's so. Did. It, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just, a, you know, one of the one of the fucking most famous rules of the Internet. I just I just find it funny when people do this when they just like, yeah, double down. It's just like. It, it, even not even DSP did that when he, oh, when he uh, got dark side Phil. <laughs> yeah, when he got like, well, first he tried, and then he was like, okay, yeah, I jacked off on the stream. All right, I did. Uh-huh. And like, Jesus. even even like him, <laughs> like yeah. Fuck. I mean, I mean, that's kind of. I mean, what are you what are you gonna do when people have a like, video evidence of you jerking it? You know, it's like, no, nah, that that wasn't me. <laughs> no way. I, I that's... just scratched my leg. <laughs> yeah, and then it, it got in the oh. way. That, that's all that happened. I was uh, I was uh, busy streaming. <laughs> yeah, but like, and uh, you can parse apart. Uh, I guess his his argument, his his logical argument that doesn't care about your feelings. Um is something about this is what feminism fought for and it's just like it's not even worth arguing that point no. because the whole thing of people making fun of you is that you read the lyrics to this song and you sounded like a fucking dweeb doing it that's all anybody <laughs> cares about nobody cares about arguing feminism with you you fucking nerd Someone should shove this guy into a locker. That's that's the punishment. Shove Ben Shapiro in a locker. Give him a fucking swirly. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up and eat some P-word. <laughs> <laughs> this man's poor yeah. wife. Oh, God. Yeah, I would have definitely bullied this guy if I went to school with him. Like, no. <laughs> God. Yeah, he he sort of invites it. Uh, speaking, yeah. of, speaking of bullying and, har- and harassment... <laughs> Uh, we, we have a uh, continuing saga um, of Mr. Peanut. Now, of course, we've mentioned oh. Mr. Peanut, the uh, Mr. Peanut incident with uh, Luke Taylor, who is on the show. Uh, the day that he was being canceled in real time for threatening to kill the planters peanut on Twitter. So this guy was uh, a friend of ours was going on Twitter as a joke, responding to the Mr. Peanut, the planter's peanut mascot and saying, I'm going to put a bullet in your head. I'm going to slit your throat. I'm going to, you know, all this kind of stuff. All reasonable just... responses to that account. Exactly. So eventually he got canceled 
by all sorts of media outlets for harassing this per or not even harassing the peanut, but oh, there are real people behind that account. And it was like yeah. it's clearly a, an attack on this large peanut with a top hat and monocle. <laughs> so he wrote a whole Vice article about it, which was cool. And then eventually, a few months later, as we uh, also discussed on the show right. for the Super Bowl, they they killed off Mr. Peanut anyway. And then I I specifically remember having a, a tweet that was like, for the love of God, please do not make baby Mr. Peanut. And that's exactly what they did. It was like between the time we recorded and the time the episode came out. <laughs> <laughs> like when the episode came out, you were already like, yeah, yeah. please, uh, pl- that better not turn him into a baby. I was because I was like, fucking hair out like baby Yoda and all that shit exactly, was so fucking popular. Yeah. Doesn't uh, baby Yoda feel like five years ago at this point? It was. Yeah. Oh, oh, God, yeah, it feels like it. Good God. Um, so baby peanut has been a well disliked mascot <laughs> on Twitter. And uh, they were tweeting the other day saying tomorrow is a big day. And the world seems pretty big when you're a baby. So tomorrow is going to be huge. And needless to say, nobody gave a fuck. (laughs) But Mr. Uh, Sorry, Baby Nut started to uh, he grew up and now now he's Peanut Jr. Why did his his eyes become smaller? Oh, when he was a baby. Oh, you're right. Oh, no. Yeah. He had these big like anime looking eyes. Yeah. I don't know, that's a good question. I don't know. Because isn't eyeballs the only... I, I, well, he's a peanut, I guess, but eyeballs is the only <laughs> thing that doesn't grow, right? On a, that's I, I mean, true, like said, yeah. It's, it's possible that peanuts may, you know, mature different than human beings do. But Maybe it's just his body's grown so much and his eyeballs have stayed the same, but... Oh, yeah, that's I don't, true. I don't really know... I don't know too much about peanuts, I'll be honest. ID? Yes, sir. Wait, so you're telling me you fell off a cliff, came back to life as a baby, and now you're 21? Yeah. Yeah, it's been a weird year. Pretty pretty funny. What is the point of that? <laughs> what are they doing? It's oh, awful. I don't know. They're not even marketing a new product. They're just... Uh, who cares about the fucking mascot for this dumbass company? And this is just sort of uh, brand Twitter at its absolute worst. Yeah. Like you said, no one fucking cares. And the only thing this spawned was the uh, mo- the hashtag block Mr. Peanut movement, where <laughs> everybody was posting <laughs> screenshots of them blocking the Mr. Peanut account. I saw like thousands of people just like, screenshot and then blocking the account so it was just like yeah you guys are fucking assholes you know if you thought we were gonna buy your like this i mean i have to imagine this has to just backfired on them they're probably selling less nuts than ever yeah (laughs) well uh so you know they're they're also playing off the joke of um you know when you said about doesn't baby yoda feel like it was five years ago and i said yeah it was even though it was what back in november or something like that 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 show came out um they're they're saying oh well he was born in february and now he's 21 uh that's february was 21 years ago ha 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 it it, has everybody been having fun during this quarantine february was 21 years ago so they're grifting off of the fact that everyone's miserable to sell peanuts healthcare please (laughs) (laughs) (sighs) <sighs> i just find it funny that like that, that i can be be so upset over a peanut a peanut <laughs> man like I, i'm actually upset like it's, it's yeah so it's offensive <laughs> yeah oh it's great not great i say well, I, we gotta punish him and i mean we've done every we fucking killed him and he came back to life <sighs> i swear he's like one of these uh video game bosses he's got so many dang forms you know, he keeps regenerating his health. It's not great. I got a, I got a good punishment if nobody else does. Yeah. Uh, the Planters Corporation has to write a written apology to, to Luke for... He spearheaded this. Ever, he was the first person to be like, this Mr. Peanut guy, don't like him. I think, he's, I think he's bad. I don't think we trust him. And everyone was like, oh, fuck you, Luke. We don't believe you. We, and then everybody trusted him, and he came back as fucking baby nuts and now the entire internet hates him 
And where is Luke trying to hide the fact that he started up a new Twitter account so he no, doesn't actually, get banned again? <laughs> he's actually started threatening him again. <laughs> Good. I, I've seen his replies come up Good. recently. Well, Planters Corporation has to write an apology. That's fair. Yeah. I've got... Um, let yeah. me... Uh, I, I, I got to talk about this one. We can do one more? Yeah. All right. So cancel culture's been getting pretty bad, right, folks? Sure. <clears throat> Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, because there's certain things you, you know, back back a long time ago, people used to say anything, do anything, and there would be no repercussions. Everyone was just fine with, you know, comedians in the 90s could say whatever they wanted. And pe- there wasn't uh, this giant uh, hate mob. There wasn't this giant mob of SJWs trying to cancel everybody. And the the one thing that people always say nowadays is, uh you know, the the past was a much better time for comedy, and you could never, for instance, remake Blazing Saddles. In today's political culture, you could never remake Blazing Saddles. That's an impossibility. You couldn't do it. Well, guess what, guys? They're remaking Blazing Saddles with cats. And, and samurai. And samurai. They're samurai cats. And again, literally nobody asked for this. Yeah, I see uh, our friend Slime to Garbage Man in the chat or in the reply saying, so how are they doing the N word joke? <laughs> <laughs> so that's in response to uh, comic book resources twi- tweeted this out. Blazing Saddles is being remade as an animated samurai movie about cats and dogs. <sighs> Wait, how, well, how is that even how is that even related to Blazing Saddles then? Like uh- because like, there's white people no and black people in Blazing Saddles, and I mean that's going to be a tricky dogs. that's going to be a tricky line to walk. Like, what are they going to say? Like, oh, the the cats are white people, the 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 dogs are black people. Like, that's sort of like tone deaf. <laughs> like, I don't I don't think likening any race to an animal is a good idea, especially for a kids movie. Assuming a, that's what this is, a dog sheriff. No, I've yeah, seen everything, or a catch. I I don't know what the sheriff. I'm I'm assuming a dog. So I think it's just straight up called Blazing Samurai. Yeah. Yeah. So these these fucking small brained idiots who constantly kept talking about Blazing Saddles could never be remade. Well, they're remaking it, idiots. You fucking simpleton, idiot, moron, mouth breathing dullards. You know, Grant, I got to be honest, this was not on my 2020 bingo card. (laughs) (laughs) This is the year that this would come out, too, just to fucking sprinkle salt in the wound. Yeah, I think one of the funniest replies here is, uh, okay, this just won the Internet. And then somebody (laughs) responded, I think it lost and just got like hundreds more likes. (laughs) Like, people are still talking like that. That's... <laughs> I'm so unhappy. Oh, man. See, and then right after this show, I'll, like, pop open Instagram and see people smiling, and I'll just be like, fuck! Yeah. <laughs> they live in a world where they don't have to know about this kind of shit. Uh... Or worse off, they know about it and they like it. <laughs> Did you see Blazing Saddles is getting remade? It looks kind of cute. <laughs> and look it's got it's got uh michael sarah sam jackson <laughs> wait hold on it gets worse it gets worse ricky gervais and george takei <laughs> yeah also i mean like ignoring the fact that it's like I mean, I'm sure someone's going to bring it up at some point, but it's also appropriating Japanese culture. Is it? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, because of the samurai. Yeah. That's why they have George Takei, I guess, is yeah, to be good, like, uh, see, it's it's acceptable. We got a Japanese guy in here. We can make this. It's it's not, right? Mm. I, I got a punishment. Yeah. They should get a Japanese artist to redesign these Western character designs and just give the cats and dogs... Really thin hips and really big boobs. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Sounds good. And no one can complain because, like I said, samurai is, uh, you know, part of a Japanese history. So I think it's only appropriate that they be in charge of the character designs. Like, I'm not you want to fucking keep keep Ricky Gervais in the fucking movie. All right. Do whatever the fuck you want. 
but this is how it's going to have to be. I don't I don't know what kind of commentary they're trying to make, but I I would I just want the animals to be sexy. Yeah, at the very least. Come on. If I can't jerk off to these cats and dogs, what's the point of this movie even coming out? (laughs) Uh, So let's move right right along to. Hold I. Sorry, I got so distracted. Zwick in the chat just responded word to that. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm not, I wasn't positive, like, if that was delayed or... No, he, he was agreeing with me because okay. he's a fucking sick freak. There's something wrong with him. Uh, key to the city, something nice, something cool. We give out to uh, something, something we saw that... Hey, Grant, maybe this made us smile. Yeah, maybe. I'll, I probably just looked at it and I did one of these. And that's all we can really ask for in 2020. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my key to the city goes to the, t- goes to the Twitter account at Real Mind of Jason. And this is spelled J-S-O-N. And this is one of these things I, I, I tend to get, I tend to really obsess and get fixated on these uh, Twitter. Oh, or yeah. YouTube I saw accounts. you posting this. Yeah. Yeah. Where I'm like, I'm like, I don't know if this is real or fake. And I become I got to find out like uh, not not to blow my cover earlier. But Dave, I, it took like my, my friends and I, I think I said last time you were on the show, we're like really trying to figure out it towards the beginning of Sephiroth Sword 57. We're like, is this? Is this real or is this guy doing a bit? Was a satire? Yeah. I know. I know. Seth often hears that question: whether or not what he's doing is sapphire or it's not sapphire, Seth, uh, Roth Seth. satire. Yeah. So sapphire that, for short. Yeah, and this is my newest obsession: Real Mind of Jason, where he just. Mm. Uh, I mean, he he just posts some really raunchy stuff on here, and it's these yeah. like it's these kind of like Facebook style memes where just the the image is so blown out, <laughs> and uh, oh my god, there's some really bad. <laughs> there was one I was gonna. <laughs> I'm sorry, I see that. God. It's like like every post is like it's not even a text post. It's like a picture of him like trying to look sexy. And it's this just disgusting font of text with like 13 emojis and his Twitter handle is watermarked on his picture of himself. Here's when it says, say yes to masks, say no to bras, let them nipples breathe. Uh, he's, he's a related one. The, the only way some of these bitches got a hashtag WAP is if they get caught in the rain. There's an umbrella emoji with three or four exclamation marks. Uh, hold on, there's uh, there, God, there's some other really fucking good ones here. Uh, <laughs> here's one again. It's a picture of him trying to look sexy. He's got sunglasses on, uh, his hood's up. It says, "When life hands you lemons," it's like two lemon emojis. It says, "When life hands you lemons, be glad it wasn't fucking herpes." <laughs> and the, the the only text in the post is the eyes emoji and hashtag herpes, hashtag STD, hashtag STDs, hashtag IJS. Jesus. It's just, it's like, it's like cryptid posting. Like it's, he, he just exists to make these self-promoting memes, but it's also like <laughs> one of the, one of the best things I've seen in the last, uh, in the last uh, several months. So uh, yeah, real mind of Jason, give him a follow. Uh, yeah, I'm following him not right now. I believe I already did. Uh, Dave, the key to the city? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I actually had, like, before I, I couldn't come up with anything to talk about, but when now that we're looking at this, I'm actually, I have a Twitter account I want to talk about. Yeah, yeah. of course. And the, since Adam couldn't join us today, Joe Kim. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to, I, I want to talk about his Twitter account that's called garbage japanese oh let me pull that up right now yeah it's it's um it's him doing movie quotes in like really bad japanese it's kind of a hit and miss for some people and it's movie quotes or oh he's got the text over the image of uh he's got muhammad ali he's got ben shapiro on here yeah yeah. he's got george or uh, joe rogan there's probably yeah, a lot of our listeners that would appreciate this account very much. So really, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I I laugh at almost all of these. This is like right up my <laughs> when it comes to humor. Yeah, but. you find you find the correct podcast to bring this to. Yeah, okay, yeah I know. Yeah, you you studied Japanese, didn't you? Uh, not really. 
a little. I, I think I think I'm just like every other weeb where I watched a lot of anime. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's but also you, where I get all of this. You know, you know what it says though. Yes. Could you read the uh, Ben Shapiro one and then translate it? All right. I'll, yeah, I'll do that. It's. <laughs> see, where is it? Here, I'll, uh, it. I found it here. I'll link it in the chat. Yeah, it says. Kusoyaro ributado. I think I think I I, I, like I think I, I might know, know what the yeah. Yeah, but what what does it say? <laughs> Kusoya that's probably like I don't know really what it means, but ributado is libtard. Right. So, oh yeah, that's yeah. great. <laughs> that's why like if you uh I don't know if you see the James Bond one. Uh let me but, see. Oh yeah, what's that one say? Uh that one says uh one martini sh- is shaken not stirred. And then what is that in Japanese? Let me read this. Uh, Hitotsu no mati ne onegai shimasu. Shaken do sustado de janai. But yeah, it's just like bad. It's like bad Japanese. If a Japanese part- person saw this, they would be like, "What the fuck is this?" It's <laughs> not like real. But yeah, I'm 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 in I'm in love with this. Uh, I like the idea a lot. It's just like quotes, like famous quotes. So it's like. I see there's a Beavis and Butthead uh Boku wa Korn Horio Desu. Eto ho 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 ano sugoi ho 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 eto. <laughs> yeah. Classic. Grant, what's your key to the city? My key to the city goes to this uh I guess it's a TikTok cooking channel. And uh I I don't know how well you can do a cooking channel on TikTok because I thought that they kept videos sort of short on there, but maybe there's something that I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm, I have a TikTok account, but I don't use it that much. I just post some of my stupid videos and hope that I become famous. And I haven't Aren't they yet. supposed to ban TikTok? What's that? Aren't they supposed to ban it? Yeah, I don't know if they did or not. But um, so I'm scrolling through Twitter. Twitter is where I see most TikToks. I don't actually use TikTok and I don't see what's on it. But if someone posts a TikTok to Twitter, you bet your ass that I've seen it. Uh, so mm-hmm. someone posts this uh, this tweet that says powerful energy from this woman. And it's called Cooking with Shireen. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and play a sample because it's uh, it's great. Hash browns are for wimps. You can do better. We're making a potato galette. It's French. Oh. Since there's no carnivals oh. in town, we're making fun food at home. Want to make funnel cakes? Want to make breakfast? You can do this. This is easy. And we'll make it fancy. You want to make the best What's that look eggs? at the end of all these? Come on, I'll show you. I don't know, Did but I feel like she's... Cheese? Oh, we're making pressure cooker mac She's both cheese. negging me and she's, oh, uh, and she's being uplifting at the same time. Are you still buying cookies? Oh, no, 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 no. We make them from scratch. Mint chocolate chip cookies for St. Patrick's Day. They're green. You want spice? I'll give you spice. <laughs> we're making chili. Right, oh uh, baby. Let's go couch potato. Let's get some exercise. It'll make you feel good. Looking good in that tank top, Shireen. And now we make a smoothie. Don't you dare. You're better than that. We're making from oh, scratch. Today we're I making like good she chicken noodles, that not box gyros. Off the table. It's Greek. Do not make wow. a box cake. We're making it from scratch because you can. Don't you dare throw those away. We're making the best banana bread. Don't be lazy. We're making homemade pasta. You've I'm got sorry. all the time in the world. Plus, it's better. Want to learn how to cut a pie? Boy, do I. Yeah, I'm more of a uh, takeout guy, so. I want this woman to beat the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> you you wanted, wanted to kick your ass and make you uh, make cookies? Yeah. Because she's she's both nagging me and she's being uplifting. She's like, listen, you fucking idiot. Get up. It's fucking noon. You should be awake by now. I'm going to make you cookies. You're going to love it, bitch. And I'm like, yeah, sign me up. I'm subscribed. What, what's your what's your Patreon, lady? I'll give I'll give you all my money. So that's my key to the city. So Sweet. before before we move on to our last segment <laughs> of the show, which is the voicemails from our listeners uh dave if you want to go ahead and plug all your uh videos social medias and i guess you can also plug uh, your brother's content too oh yeah uh that's right yeah sephiroth sword 57 aka seph sama is the youtube channel mm-hmm. and uh, they pretend on pretty much everything uh that is the twitter <laughs> yeah i was gonna say too you had a really funny video that was a parody of all those angry video game nerd kind of videos from the early 2000s oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah you want oh yeah that do you like that one yeah i was i was actually watching it the other day i was laughing 
<laughs> Sweet. Yeah, I want to make more in that. Yeah, I, w- style. I, w- I would hope so. Yeah, that's a that's a great style because I I hate that style so much. I hated that style <laughs> back when it was popular, and like yeah. then you think back to it, and you're like, God, why did anybody like this? And yeah. I know a lot of this- people like. <laughs> <laughs> this game makes me want to shove a tarantula up my ass. It's just like like yeah, AVGN like yeah. And I know he's like a beloved internet character by now, but I just I hated yeah. those videos. And so anytime oh. someone does like a good parody of that, like it's it's great. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm a I'm a huge uh, right now. I'm a huge fan of irate gamer. Like I I go watch old irate gamer video and i laugh <laughs> I'm not uh-huh. the actual jokes like i i don't laugh the intended way right yeah for but, sure they did like yeah, a, I, I started rewatching some of his too because they did like a angry video game nerd slash irate gamer like mashup video or some shit like that like they did uh oh we're gonna hash this beef out sort of thing and so i was like yeah i remember that guy he was terrible and so i also started rewatching him yeah <laughs> oh, and boy. i believe your brother also has a uh, twitter account yeah 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 uh yeah i should probably get that yeah it's just a uh, separate sword underscore i'm pretty sure uh, yeah definitely follow him to get all the updates on the gossip it's important yes oh look at that good thank you swick yeah. All right, well, let's uh, get to those voicemails. <laughs> Thankfully, I have something to read this time. Hooray. And what, <laughs> if you'd like to leave your own voicemail, give us a call at our hotline, 312-788-7361. Or you can always send us an audio file to thoughtcopspodcast at gmail.com. Hit it. Hey, Thought Cops. Just wanted to say that I've been really enjoying the video content you've been doing lately. Oh, thank uh, you. I really liked the last episode of Reeducationing. Um, oh, thanks. Grant was basically doing like a stream of consciousness monologue about Gamergate. Yes. Um, while well, fucking wasted. Uh, it's very funny. Um, <laughs> thank you. I look forward to seeing Kevin on Reeducationing as well. It's a good show, guys. Well thank done. Thank you. Thank um, you. Oh, thanks. That's it. Nothing, nothing else to say. Just a quick message of thanks for the good stuff. All right. We'll see you guys later. Love you. Oh. Love you oh, too. Love you too. Appreciate your appreciation. That was very a, a very kind message from our friend Lakembra. That was too nice of him. I feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I, 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 I hate that I felt the whole time like he was like about to do a heel turn. <laughs> yeah, I was. Like, I was watching. I was watching the timer click down. I'm like, oh, here it comes, and it's like, oh no, he was just being nice. Yeah, okay. thank you. Maybe thank that you. was the joke. Yeah, I guess we didn't uh, we forgot to plug the YouTube channel. I suppose we should do that. Well, you know, there's, uh, we're there's only so on much YouTube. stuff we can plug, you know, per episode and whatnot. But yeah. True. Well, now is a better time than ever because uh, LeKember prompted us. So yeah, give us a follow. And we have been filming some new stuff. Uh, Grant and I filmed uh, re-educationing over the weekend that I wrote and filmed. Started, I mean. So yeah, that'll be out soonish and we have all of our episodes up on youtube if you feel like listening that way as well as some other great stuff so yeah right. give us a follow and then uh, whatever that whatever the youtube thing is and the, yeah whatever the youtube thing is uh whatever the link is but just search thought cops you'll find it and then you know if you're if you listen to this show if you're a fan of this show uh if you find someone that you know think you think might be enlightened from one of these videos, uh, send it to them. You know, it's a, put it up on a Reddit subreddit that you think it might be appropriate or completely inappropriate in. Um, and you know, get the word out because the reason that I started making a lot of those videos was you know to support the podcast to sort of do a little bit of marketing with some three minute comedy videos that you sure. know well telling someone to listen to an hour long podcast is difficult but if you send someone like a three minute long video they might be like huh this is interesting i'll subscribe so you know if y'all want to do us the favor of spreading that link around you know that yeah be i would say appreciate uh, go ahead and post the gamergate video on anyone's facebook that you can you think it might upset them yeah because at least Absolutely. you'll have fun, you know, making somebody else mad. Yeah. And isn't that the whole point of the internet? Basically. And with two magic words. Thought cops. It's granddad. Imagine, Nobody's imagine, saying clap, it's assumed. No, we do it on zero, but the zero's silent. Yeah. Ah, just like in Spanish. 
<laughs> yes, exactly. Is, this, is uh, the zero silent in Spanish? <laughs> El cero en tres dos uno cero o cero uno dos tres. A little rusty on my Spanish. I don't know no Spanish at all. What I said in Spanish translated? No, the zero is not silent in Spanish. Uh-huh. My two minutes of hate this week goes to the Trump supporter caravans that have been showing up in my town. They'll be like 50 to 100 vehicles strong. Oh, wow. Their punishment is they should have all their Trump flags replaced with stupid flags, and they should all catch COVID. No Minecraft. Oh, wow. No <laughs> Minecraft. No cap. No Minecraft. <laughs> so he said that they should have stupid flags. <laughs> the classic stupid flag of the stupid people. <laughs> and I was was that supposed to was that segment of us talking about Spanish supposed to be like a, a segue into talking about Trump supporters? I don't think so. No, I think he just wanted to address the fact that zero is not silence in Spanish. Uh, that, that was unfair of us to assume, but yeah, we we really didn't have anything to go off of. We panicked, you know. Yeah, we're sorry. You know, it's been a rough year, twenty twenty. Um, there's a lot of crazy shit going on, like uh, pandemic. Uh, lots of police brutality, uh, creeping fascist state, mass eviction, and then I go on fucking Twitter and people complaining about Uzaki's having big bazongas or big segoidic eyes. <laughs> who gives a fuck? There are people who are getting kicked out of their house because they can't pay rent. So the government isn't giving us money, and you're mad about some legal, legal, legal anime girls, big fucking honkers. The, the punishment is that if you're mad because you have no tits, then you're going to be flat chested forever. If you're mad because she's skinny and get tits, you're going to be fat forever. Fuck you. I want more <laughs> Trump butts. I don't want to see this complaining about exactly big mommy milkies. So, yeah, it sounds like you guys are on the same page there, Dave. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. What a way to round out the episode. Just bring it back full circle to what we were first talking about. Yeah, and, that's true. And, and for God's sakes, give us some more stimulus money. Yeah, please. So it's like, yeah, oh. may, maybe I think she's onto something. Maybe if the government wasn't evicting people from their homes because they lost their jobs because of the pandemic, uh, maybe that wouldn't be happening if we could just have big Japanese anime girl boobs. You ever think about that? No. Mm. no. Well, I'll let you uh, all ponder on that till the next episode comes out. Dave, thanks so much for coming back on the show, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, always a blast. Yeah, anytime. If anyone wants to give us a call yourself, leave us a voicemail. It's 312-788-7361. Hit up that hotline. Or you can always send us an audio file at thoughtcopspodcast at gmail.com. If you want to support the show, get some bonus content, Fire Bros, as well as hang out in the podcast chat with us here, head on over to patreon.com slash thoughtcops. Throw us a few bucks. Thanks for listening. See you next time.